Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting the 2018 YouTube Pagan Challenge and the, pal uh, the challenge is the ABCs of Paganism where you do two to three videos a month working your way through the alphabet. Today is A and I'm going to do altars and kind of my take on putting together your own altar. I've done a couple altar tours and like setups. I've done my shrine setup, which is over on this side. Or here. Um, and I don't set it up in a traditional way. I definitely don't set it up in a Wiccan way. Um, I have a very, very loose style and that's what works for me. I'm definitely not saying that if a traditional or Wiccan setup works well for you that you shouldn't do it. Um, because if that works for you, that works for you. I just want to argue for a more loose setup. For me, my altar is my workspace. It is not there as a collection of stuff. So right now I'm going to move a little bit here. You can't see it very well. You can see the mess um, underneath my altar, but it's a pretty basic setup. I have a candle going. I have my salt lamp. I have two tea lights going and some incense. And everything on my altar I can easily push back and to the side to have a nice large working area. Um, for me, my spell work does tend to get really messy. I'm not the most careful person to measure any ingredients or spell components. Ashes get everywhere. Oils get everywhere. I'm constantly wiping down my altar. It's just a mess. I've stopped using the altar cloth a while ago unless I'm just setting up for a season and I'm not going to be doing a lot of workings for that month or if I'm going to be doing working somewhere else. Um, anything that I need, like boiling water or like really how do I just do all that in the kitchen a large part of my witchcraft does revolve around the kitchen and I, so I usually do bigger spells there because it's easier there's more access to the things I need um I'm also a big fan of incorporating things onto your altar that are very non-traditional. Um, for example, when I do my birthday altar, I'll sometimes put some of my Funko Pops on there. I'll put books that I really enjoy reading, um, stuffed animals. If I do like a really like Halloween type of an altar, because I love Halloween, I have three or four different stuffed animals that are Halloween themed. I'll put those up there. I'll put my Nightmare Before Christmas things up there. And it's not really pop culture paganism, so to speak, because I don't ever worship characters as deity, but I do look at them as forces that can be used in magic. My religion and my witchcraft are very separate for the most part. There are certain spells that I will do that involve my gods, but for the most part, my spells are more personal energy. Um, I think we do need to make the distinction between a religious altar and a working witchcraft altar, I think too often people confuse paganism and witchcraft. They can exist completely separate of each other. Um, that being said, I will set up my altar at times as a temporary shrine to deity. 
Um, I have no problem using my, it's, I have no problem using my altar as a shrine. It's not primarily a shrine, but I will occasionally make a temporary shrine. Um, I think this is the shortest video I've ever done because that's my entire case. It's, it's do you. If you want a very cluttered, very specifically designed altar, do it. If you want a very sparsely decorated altar, do it. As long as it aids you instead of hindering you. Once the altar becomes too difficult to maintain or you can't do any of your workings there, then it becomes a hindrance and you should step back and take a look at it and maybe build a shrine or make another altar, like a working altar. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about altars. Um, you can show me pictures of yours. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!